Hi Year 3, it's Miss Hendy here and I'm going to be doing um, your reading skills lessons with you today. So what I'd like you to do please is to press pause right today, short date and vipers circling the V for vocabulary as that is today's focus in the lesson. Once you have done that we are going to um, go through each of the um, letters in vipers to remind us what they mean. So we have V for vocabulary, I for infer, P for predict, E for explain, R for retrieve, and S for summarize. And today's focus is vocabulary, this one here. And vocabulary is where we find and explain the meaning of words in context. So by context, it means how it is being used in a sentence or how somebody is saying it. Okay, so how, what is the meaning of the word in that sentence? So our current text is Audrey, the amazing inventor, written by Rachel Valentine, illustrated by Katie Weymer. Um, I'd like you in just a second to press pause um, and maybe have a little look at your predictions from yesterday. Um, what were some of your predictions for this story? Because today we're going to find out if some of those predictions are correct. Now we are going to begin the text. We're going to read pages one to eight today. Um, so let's go. Audrey was the most inquisitive girl you could hope to meet. She never stopped asking questions and searching for answers. And she loved to fiddle and find out how everything worked. So the day Audrey's teacher asked the class, what do you want to be when you grow up? Audrey beamed. I want to be an inventor. She would invent amazing things. But where to begin? Amazing fun things to cheer up happy cat. Amazing useful things for daddy. Audrey began to invent at a rapid rate. I wonder what she's making here. Could this be the catapult it mentioned in our inside cover? <laughs> the egg collector made daddy's mornings much easier until it didn't. Oh, what's happened here? The catapult was very impressive, although it wasn't a happy cat's favourite idea. So, we have read up to page 8. I'm intrigued to find out what happens next. But for today, we are going to look at the vocabulary that we have used, well, the author has used from on pages 1 to 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the question and I will take you back to that page. We'll have a look at it again and see if you can answer it. So question number one is on page one. What word on this page tells you that Audrey is interested in learning new things? Here is page one. So we want to look, find a word that shows us that Audrey is interesting, interested in learning new things. Audrey was the most inquisitive girl you could hope to meet. Which word there tells us that she likes to learn new things? And once you've completed that question, we're going to have a go at number two. Question number two is on page two. Find one word on this page that means to touch and change something in order to improve it. So I'm going to take you back to page number two and we're going to find one word on that page that means to touch and change something, something in order to improve it. Okay, so here is page number two. I've numbered the pages for you. She never stops asking questions and searching for answers. And she loved to fiddle and find out how everything worked. So what word on this page here tells that she, to, um, it indicates that it's to touch, to change something? And 
And once you have done that question, we will move on to question number three. Question number three. It's on page three. Which word on this page means the same as smiled? Means the same as smiled. So if we're looking for a word that means the same, it's called a synonym. So here is page number three. So the day Audrey's teacher asked the class, what do you want to be when you grow up? Audrey beamed. Which word there think, do you think means the same as smiled? And once you've completed that, we are going to have a go at question number four. Question number four. Find one word on page four, sorry, that is closest in meaning to excellent. Okay, so it's a synonym that for excellent, but it's closest in meaning. We can have a little look at page number four. Here is page number four. I want to be an inventor. She would invent amazing things, but where to begin? So what word on that page is similar in meaning to the word excellent? And once you have completed that question, we will move on to question number five. Question number five is on page five. Which word or phrase tells you that Audrey began inventing things quickly? So which word indicates to us that she began inventing things quickly? Let's go to page number five. Here is page number five. Now the colour of the text on here is it makes it a little bit trickier to see. So hopefully me reading out to you will help you. Remember, we're looking for a word or a phrase that indicates Audrey began to invent quite quickly. Amazing fun things to cheer up happy cat. Amazing useful thing, things for daddy. Audrey began to invent at a rapid rate. So which words there indicate she, oh, she began to do something quite quickly? And once we've completed question number five, we are going to go on to our last question, number six. Question number six. It's on page eight. Which word on this page is closest in meaning to admirable? Admirable. So we are looking for a word that means the same as admirable. I've said that word so many times, I can't say it anymore. The catapult was very impressive, although it wasn't Happy Cat's favourite idea. Once you've answered that question, we are going to go back and with a purple pen, we are going to mark our answers. So are we ready to go through the answers? I hope so. Have a purple pen. If you need to go back through the video, rewind it to try to help you find any answers, that's absolutely fine. So question number one, what word on this page tells you that Audrey is interesting in learning new things? The answer is inquisitive. Inquisitive means um, she likes to ask questions to learn um, things. It did actually give you the definition on the next page. Question number two, the answer, if we find one word on the page that means to touch and change something in order to improve it, the answer is fiddle. Question number three, which word on this page means the same as smiled? The answer is beamed. Beaming is quite a big smile as well. Question number four, find one, one word that's in closest in meaning to excellent, the answer is amazing. You could say something is excellent, you could say something is amazing. Question number five, which word or phrase tells you that Audrey began inventing things quickly? And the phrase was at a rapid rate. No, so rapid means quick. At a rapid rate. And finally, question number six, the word that's closest to meaning to admirable is impressive impressive and once you've marked those in your purple pen we have a little task for you to do at the end and 
what I'd like you to do is to find some better words for smile. For this word here, oh goodness, that's a wonky line. Can you find it in a thesaurus? Now, if you don't have a thesaurus at home, you could, with the help of an adult, remember in our smart rules, staying safe online, um, use Google and you can use a Google thesaurus to find three synonyms for smile and write them out in your book. Um, and then your second word I'd like you to find some synonyms for is quick. Can you find them again in a thesaurus? If you don't have one at home, that's okay. You can use a thesaurus online. So using Google, using those research skills that we learn in the autumn term in our computing lessons. And write three synonyms quick in your book. Thank you very much, Year 3. I hope you're enjoying the text as much as I am. Um, I'm quite looking forward to learning about some more of Audrey's inventions. Take care. Bye.